Hi, how are you? I hope that I find you well and welcome to the first of my uh, video logs. I hope that I, I can encourage you with God's word and to, uh, you know, continue to make God's voice clear in your life as you, as you, you know, face the, the, the challenges as you, you know, pursue God's purpose in your life. Um, today I want to, I want to talk to you about recovery, recovery. Yesterday I had a pretty interesting um, experience. I'm traveling at the moment and uh, we landed at the airport yesterday and I was with a friend I'd, I'd bumped into during the check-in process and uh, we landed together and so we went to get some breakfast and after we were done we went to the phone shop together. We bought some credit uh, for our phones and then we parted ways. He went his way, I went my way. Uh, I jumped on the train and I uh, headed for the hotel uh, where I'm staying right now. I got to the hotel, I'm packing my bags, and then I discovered that I was missing my iPad. This very iPad that I'm using right now, it was missing. And let me tell you, my heart stopped beating, literally. My mind just froze because the conference I'm going to speak at, the information I, I, I needed is right on this, on this iPad, and I couldn't find it. I mean, I, I unpacked my whole bag and packed it up again, unpacked it again, and just, and just couldn't find it. Eventually, I sat down and thought to myself, it's gone. I'm not going to get it back. Then I thought to myself, I had a little thought, and I thought, why don't I go back to the airport and, and just check? I might just find it. And the airport from the hotel where I'm at is, is, it would take me about 45 minutes to an hour to get to. And the thought crossed my mind, what if I travel the whole hour, get there, search for it, and don't find it? That means I'm traveling a whole hour back. I'm incurring the expense on the train, the expense on the taxi to get back to the hotel, and that will just add to my disappointment. Eventually, I thought, let me, let me go for it. So I went back to the airport and uh, retraced my steps. I called my friend that I was with earlier on. Maybe he'd taken it by accident. He said, no, he hadn't seen it. I went back into the, to the place where we had breakfast, back to the phone shop where we bought credit. There was nothing. And then I left, I left the phone shop uh, again. And as I'm heading to the airport, I'm thinking to myself, Lord, this is, um, this is just not a good start. And Lord, please, you know, Imam, do you know when you, when you have a pleading moment to get something back that you really want and you are powerless, like literally you are powerless to get it back. You don't have anywhere to start from in terms of getting what it is you want. That's exactly where I was. It was a, such a low moment and a really bad start to what I thought was going to be a good conference trip. So I'm heading to the train and then I thought to myself, you know, just go back. Maybe let me just go back to the phone shop and to the, to the restaurant where we'd had breakfast and just ask them that if, if anyone brings it back or if they ever see it, could they hold it for me because I'd be coming back through the airport in a few days to pick it up. So I go back to the phone shop and as I'm sitting there with the attendant, I say to him, dude, if, 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 if anyone comes, if you see, if, you, if this is what the laptop, uh, this is what the iPad looks like, please hold it for me. Tell the rest of you guys. And he just kind of looked at me with a gaze, you know, that gaze that says, dude, you know what? I'm busy, man. I got a life. I'm, I'm trying to do stuff here. And, but he just nodded his head. I'm about to go out and this lady, a white lady walks in to the phone shop. And as she walks in, lo and behold, she's holding my iPad. I'm thinking, did a white lady steal my, my iPad? You know? Anyway, she, she, she comes and she looks at me. She says, hey, you're the guy that was in front of me uh, when you bought credit. I said, yes, it's me and you're holding my iPad. And she said, yeah, you, when, you, when you opened it up, I don't know what you were looking at, you put it down on top of my bag and carried on with your transaction. And when you finished, you got up and left. And I had tried to trace you, trace your, your steps after I, I was finished, but I couldn't, I, you know, I, 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 did, I didn't see where you went. So I thought, let me bring it back to the phone shop and lo and behold, you know, you're back in the phone shop. So she gave it back to me and of course I was very thankful. And it got me to think about the issue of recovery. You know, sometimes we lose so many things in our lives and we don't know whether we're ever going to get them back because we like them, we love them, we, we've invested a lot in them. And I must admit, some things you don't get back. But this experience taught me that God can bring things back into your life, especially in 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 situations where you are now completely powerless to bring certain things back into your life or to recover in certain situations. I'm really trying to just hit at the point of recovery. It is possible for you to recover. You may be listening to me now and you've lost so many things. You've you you've you whether by 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 your own mistake or whether people came and they treated you badly and they uh 
crooked you out of certain things. Or maybe it was just a life situation. Things just, just, just got lost. Maybe you lost money. Maybe you lost relationships. Maybe you lost a home. I'm here to encourage you this morning that God can bring a level of recovery in your life that not even your mind could have thought of. And I was reminded of a story that's in 1 Samuel, which is the story of David. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, round about verse 7, and David comes back to a place called Ziklag where they were staying with his men, and they find that they've been robbed. They find they've been plundered. Everything has been taken. Their wives have been taken. Their kids have been taken, and they don't know where to start from. David's men are so upset with David that they actually want to kill him because of the loss that they have faced. And the Bible says that David then prays, and he inquires of the Lord. And this is what he says in verse 17, uh, uh, sorry, chapter 13. 30 verse 8 and he says and David inquired of the Lord shall I pursue this raiding party will I overtake them today I want you to ask God for the things that you have lost in your life ask him Lord should I pursue them and will I will I win will I be able to overtake I think that God will give you some direction I think that the spirit of God will encourage you to do something that you possibly is 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 outside of your own capabilities or that you wouldn't have done in your own in your own thought process. And the Bible says God answered him and he said to him, Pursue them. You will certainly overtake and succeed in the rescue. Now I can't I won't say that I had that moment where God said to me, Go for it, go back and get it. But I I did have a sense in my spirit that it was there, that this this was not it hadn't been stolen or that it wasn't lost, but it was there somewhere. And Eventually, the Bible says about David when he does go and he uh, pursues the enemy that had taken, uh, you know, things from him. In verse 18 of chapter 13, 1 Samuel, it says, David recovered everything the Amalekites had taken, including his two wives. Nothing was missing, young or old, boy or girl, plunder or anything else that they had taken. David brought everything back. My prayer this morning for you or today, whatever time you're watching this video log is, may God cause you to pursue. May God cause you to overtake and succeed. May there be nothing missing from anything that was taken from you. May you recover everything, just like how God allowed me to recover this little gadget. God bless you. Enjoy it. And until the next vlog, Remember, God's on your side and the devil's got no chance. Bye-bye.